think that some of the positive things that I've got from social media is being able to keep in touch um, with people sort of all across the, the world. Um, me and my friends from university have kind of all scattered um, and we don't see each other on a regular basis but you can keep up to date with what's going on in people's lives. I think one of the major downsides of that though is that you feel like you're keeping up to date with people and actually you've not spoken to them for five or six years but you know exactly what's going on in their life because they've posted about it. But I think something you always have to remember is people only post the good things that happen to them or the really, really terrible. You get a very warped view of people's lives and if you're having a bad time and all your friends are having what appears like a great a great time in their lives on Facebook, I find that can be really quite depressing and it can be very isolating as well. Um, you can feel like everybody else is socialising and, and you're not. And I think it's very important just to remember the context and people only show you on social media what they want you to see. And so you need to remember that that's not necessarily an accurate representation of somebody else's life and therefore you shouldn't compare to yourself to other people um, on social media. Uh, social media is a good thing in a way but uh, sometimes it can make you feel that you have the most boring uh, life in the world and everyone else is going off and getting married and getting their dream jobs and having babies and, and here you are toiling away in Glasgow in the rain <laughs> um, but I think it's important to remember to have some perspective people only show you what you want them to see and similarly you wouldn't post if you were having well most people wouldn't post if you were having a terrible day and um, they were miserable um, and I think you can't compare your everyday life to someone else's highlight feel. So I think social media can have a huge impact on your well-being, be it positive or negative. And it's very much, or it very much depends on where you are and what you're doing. Say in the lead up to exams where you're spending two or three weeks where you're not going out and socialising very much. You've not been away on holiday in a couple of months or a couple of years and you see other people kind of having fun online. I think that can have quite a negative impact on you. At the same time, uh, you, you can feel quite positive with social media because it gives you a way to communicate with your friends and family um, that you wouldn't maybe have otherwise. Based on the lives that we live in today, um, I kind of need this extra bit to be able to feel good about myself and knowing that you know I can go on Facebook and see what's happening, not missing out, even though if I'm a placement all day, all week, I can still catch up with my friends and family. Um, and um, kind of you know keeping keeping the loop, um, and so um, although like Andrew said, it does have its drawbacks. Um, but as a whole, personally, I find um, social media very positive um, to my well-being. The fact that you can socialize with other people. So when you're feeling lonely, you can just message someone um, anytime you want and start socialising, feeling less lonely, technically. So for me that was a very useful feature because I moved from Poland to the UK and I can still stay in touch with my friends from back home. But there are also loads of negative uh, influences that social media has. It's mostly with comparing yourself to other people because um, everyone tries to maintain a positive digital identity. Everyone tries to post only things that show that they are happy, successful, um, rich and beautiful and then suddenly you're just sitting um, alone and you realize that maybe your life is not as nice as theirs um, so definitely mental issues with uh, low self-esteem and comparing yourself to other people um, are very serious when it comes to social media and should definitely be further addressed in the teenage years. In terms of wearable tech, um, I don't have any wearable tech and to be honest I don't think I would like to get my text to my wrist. I think it would be, it's too much, you know, I think you need to have a kind of boundary where you're not constantly contactable uh, and constantly looking at your wrist or trying to follow your life online. I'll get texts, I'll get emails at 10 o'clock at night and then I'll feel like I have to do something about it and so um, I need to make more of a concerted effort to to switch that function off, particularly when you're on things like on holiday and, and that, because there's always work to be done and there always will be. I would think that it's just coming to terms with who you are and kind of psychologically, mentally preparing yourself uh, to love yourself the way you are and to talk to people, talk to your friends and your family and actually having the awareness that whatever you see online is not what it looks like. Digital fairy tale, that is not exactly what it looks like.